these are more uh, Blu-ray and DVD pickups. Uh, these first two are kind of like uh, late Cyber Monday deals. Uh, I got a uh, Sajam from Best Buy for uh, $6.00. So, yeah, this is kind of a late one. And then, uh, Neo, The World Ends With You. This is, uh, $30 from Amazon. Another Cyber Monday deal. And then, uh, I checked uh, Dollar Tree near where I was working. And I found, picked up, uh, two titles. Uh, Pieces of April. Now, this is one of the titles that has, like, the generic Dollar Tree, uh, barcode. So, these have to be being made exclusively for Dollar Tree. And then uh, the Blu-ray of Gunpowder. The I think it's this is like a mini series. Seems uh, kind of interested. Yeah, like a period piece. Then I went to a big lot. Uh, not a big lot. A Dollar General, and I got these. Uh, they had some one dollar uh, Blu-ray discs that were just a disc only, so I got a Frank and Weenie. Had to, I have it on DVD. I really like the movie. Uh, the Stepfather. I actually found this at a Dollar Tree. The DVD. So I'll take the Blu-ray. Uh, I saw this on DVD. A uh, Devil. Then I just didn't realize this is a rental version. I don't know if there's any special features on this, but sometimes the rental versions, they remove it. Then uh, Shutter Island, which is a really good movie. I I saw all of these already, so I'll get upgrade to the Blu-ray for a dollar. Then uh, I only had four of these on the receipt, so I think the cashier forgot to ran up this fifth one, Untraceable. Uh, nice movie. I have the DVD for this that I saw, so this is another upgrade. Then uh got a Monster Calls on Blu-ray. Then uh the big short, which Blu-ray.com the cover art's a little different. Seems interesting. I wonder what that paper inside is. Then uh, executive decision uh, for three dollars, not five dollars. Three dollars. You could see there's an old uh, five dollar sticker that's behind it. And then I was kind of surprised to see this. I saw this on DVD. I like the movie. I even have the video game for it that was released by Limited Run. Uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the Blu-ray Steel Book. Kind of surprised to see this. This was on the shelves they had by the bathrooms, so not a lot of traffic goes by. So, I wonder how long this has been sitting there. Then, uh, I already had this title in like a four movie Clint Eastwood pack. I got from another Dollar General, uh, Letters from Iwo Jima. I'm probably going to return this or use it as a gift to my uh, brother in law. And then I uh, went to the Goodwill. This is from my local Goodwill. Uh, I already got from a tag sale, uh, Family Guy Volume 1. But it was missing two discs. This one, uh, this was uh, $2. It was pink on sale. So pink was on sale, so this is two. This has all the discs, so I kind of, kind of buying the two sets to get the best, which ones were in the ever best uh, shape. Then, uh, I already have Volume 2 from that tag sale, but then I got Volume 3. Then, uh, there was no Volume 4, but there was a Volume 5, which was also $2. Uh, Volume 3 was $4, because that had a white sticker instead of a pink. And then, uh, Family Guy Season 6, which when I got this, they had this outer sleeve shoved inside. So this came to $2. And then I saw this. I kind of feel weird because they're DVD-Rs. Uh, Rugrats Season 1. This is ex at Amazon exclusive. I don't know why they can't just do a pressed disc. But these are all D 
These are DVDRs, so it's the complete first season. Uh, I and uh, the case that holds the disc, so uh, it already broke that holds disc one. So you can see that it doesn't even have the DVD logo. It has this generic DVD video disc logo. And then you can see it's uh, kind of a bluish back. So this is a burned disc. And I got it. This is wrapped in plastic. There's already scratches on this. So I don't really like this. Uh, I maybe would have left it there if I knew it was a DVD-R. Because I don't like them. And then... I found a little of the Little Mermaid Ariel's beginning. This could have been there when I got all the Disney stuff last week, but uh, I didn't see it. They still had like that Lion King that was missing the Blu-ray. So these are like some uh, last-minute pickups. Uh, this came in the mail. A One Punch Man uh, season two. And I found this at a Goodwill, the Lion King, uh, the the Diamond Edition on Blu-ray. This was two bucks, great price for a Blu-ray. And I also got the two replacement discs from a for a Phantasm One and Two uh, Special Edition because uh, they're the discs they sent in here were the ones that I promised. So now I got. The correct disc for uh, Phantasm One with Dolby uh, with on a fifty gigabyte disc with uh, Dolby Atmos, and then disc two with Dolby Atmos. So I already put the discs in the case. Uh, these old discs I might just uh, like give them as a Christmas gift or something. And then stuff I have uh, watched since the last time I saw. Ashens of the Poly uh, Polybius Heist. I liked it. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch Ashens of the Fly on the Wall, which is like uh, how they made the Polybius Heist. And then I also started uh, Spice and Wolf Season 2. So I only watched a few episodes so far. And I started... Uh, Band of Brothers. We really saw five episodes so far. My father likes it. So we're only on like a disc three. There's like five episodes of uh, five discs of episodes and like a bonus feature disc. 